What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about channel states. Specifically I'm going to talk about channel states in the mixer, but you can also use channel states in other areas of FL Studio, such as the pattern window. And every instrument that you can load in a pattern uh, has channel states associated with it. But for the demo in this tutorial I'm only going to talk about the mixer and uh, you'll be able to apply that same technology to the pattern yourself uh, when you need it. Now I'm going to load up a uh, a demo project that comes with FL Studio. It's in the Cool Stuff folder. It's a song called Aren't You Clever by uh, Mr. Mr. Special and uh, Lori Webb and Fuego who is an FL Studio guru in my opinion um, mixed it in FL Studio and the reason why I wanted to use this is because part of the mixing has in it a very nice vocal effects chain in my opinion so I'm going to bring that up this is the mixer and the vocals are on insert number three and what I'd like to do is just solo um, let me select a part in the uh, in the playlist, and I'm gonna I'm gonna solo the vocals, so you can hear just what they sound like by themselves. You come here we go again, wondering if we'll ever win. So I think that sounds nice for that style of vocal, and I might want to use this same exact effects chain. And maybe I'll tweak it later to fit my own project. But this would definitely be a good starting point for someone who is into mixing vocals in that particular style. FL Studio makes it very easy for you to do that by simply uh, selecting the channel that you want to save. And we've already done that. Then we go up to the uh, icon in the upper left corner and we select File, Save Mixer Track State As. Now when the... Uh, save as window comes up you'll actually notice that there are some files already in here that maybe you didn't realize were there some mastering channel states and some other stuff now what I, I'd like to do is I like to save all my custom ones in, in, in a folder uh, in a subfolder from there so you can see NFX here uh, and I'll go in there and you can see some that I've previously saved and in this case, since Fuego is the one who, I assume, created that particular effects chain that I want to save, I'm going to name it Fuego underscore and then something. And in this case, just I'll call it Fuego underscore vocals. And then I'll hit save. Now what I've done is I've saved an exact snapshot of that channel. So now when I go and and I'm going to select new and just open up a new project and now you can see this is my mixer and my project and my insert 3 is already used so I'm going to go to insert 7 then go back up to this icon say file open mixer to track state find fuego vocals and load it up and there you see it's changed the color it's changed the the name of it my panning my volume my effects chain, my track EQ, even the settings within each of the effects have been saved from the previous project. And you can see how if I was mixing a vocal and I wanted that sound, how quickly and easily I could pull this up and use it for my own project. And that's what you can do too. You can also do it for your own settings, obviously. Um, I do it a lot with regards to the way I compress and EQ drums because I always want a certain sound for my drums. So I might have one for my overall drum mix as well as one for my kick drum perhaps or whatever. Um, one of my favorite things to do when I'm not in a very creative mood and I'm, maybe I'm having some block creative, cre creatively is I like to go and load other people's projects 
look at how they do certain things. If I find some channel states in the mixers that I think are worthy to save, I'll, I'll save them. And, uh, and that might inspire me then to turn around and use it and get, get my creativity going again. And uh, really, isn't that what it's all about? You know, being able to uh, let the inspiration and creativity flow and not having to worry so much about some of the mundane stuff like your effects chain. I mean, granted, you can get creative there as well. But a lot of times, you know, that just gets in the way. It stops your flow as you're looking for that perfect thing or that thing that you did before. And this way, you don't stop. You just keep on rolling. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please stop by www.warbeats.com and come and check out the rest of the tutorials and the community we have going on there and the files we have available for download. In the meantime, this is NFX saying, see you guys in the next tutorial.